Welcome back my crafty people to another NSG video and this time we've been staring at what will become the butcher shop where we can get our meats which includes the pig and the cow so steak and pork chop now I keep looking at it and honestly we all know I know nothing nothing about redstoning so i'm about to watch a video put it in and then we'll come back and we'll decorate this thing up so let's get to it okay so i made one for the cows I breed them up once, you know, it's going to take a while to get them all bred up because it's based off of the game rule, you know, after so many, they, the adult die, one of the adult dies and they don't go into the chest, which we got from digging. So what I'm going to do is actually, let's see, let's do it exactly right, or should we do it next to it? Let's do it on the opposite side. <laughs> I guess. No, let's do it right next to it. Right next to it. Right here. Yes. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is dig down twice, I think, if I remember correctly, and then throw the... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing. Then let's throw the hopper down. Put that there. All right. Then we need to start placing some blocks around. I'm laughing because I acting like I know what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna need the upside down so we can access it and let's do it like that. And then like this. So, now I need pigs. Okay, we got pigs. Now I need to place water there. All right, they're both floating. And place a fence post here so that you don't jump out get our carrots and breed them both all right there's a baby all right let's see if we can breed a little bit over here again all right we are so what we'll do is just keep breeding it up and we'll start building a butcher shop in here so we to do that we do need a few materials now Honestly, I've never been to a butcher shop before. That being said, I so know how to build a butcher shop. Alright, so what we're going to need is... We need this, this, of course, duh. I need... Um, y'all, what do I need? I need some glass. I do need some glass, I think. So, sand, underneath sand, we got glass. Alright, let's grab this just in case we want to use that. So, we got glass. I think what we'll also need is, like, a iron door, which is going to act like our, you know what I'm trying to say, our freezer door. So, with that, we need a stick. And we got cobble, so we can do a lever. And we should do two, just in case we get locked in. We can put one on the opposite side. I don't know if that helps any, but just in case. All right, so we got that. Um, we got our stone bricks, because it's going to be kind of blandish, you know. Um, let's grab some item frames we might need more let's also grab birch pressure plates let's see if we already have some made up we don't so the birch pressure plates All right, we got some birch wood oh, what's happening all right there we go and we can make a few pressure plates one two three there we go. We'll make six up. Alright, that will help. 
and we'll go ahead and grab our stone cutter as well. Did y'all see an extra one? Yeah, this is our travel one, so we can bring to our projects. And let's head on up. And let's go back to the butcher shop. All right. So in here, what we want to do is kind of do it in a way where we have a wall here, like so. And then we are actually able to build this wall up. And how I want it is to do like this. Now the reason why is because this is the freezer. Now if you know anything, which you probably don't like me, about freezers. Let's see, do we want to here? Let's put the, let's get rid of that. Let's do, I just put it in the same place. Did y'all see that? Let's do something like that. So with freezers, they are pretty much A box inside like just placed there they're not built in they're placed in so it is a little bland so we're gonna have to figure out a few things to make this pop so I like how it has the looks like it's placed in like that because it gotta take it this little mom and pop butcher shop so we got a wall. So when people come in, they see a wall. But to fix that, what we will do is actually, let's see, let's place an, like that. Let's get a few more of those in. Oh, we made them all. We might need some more items now. But let's do something like this. And let's place it all the way down. Let's remove our bed because this was, I was using this as a quick when we're running around bed area. So we'll do something like that. And we'll actually use the stone cutting tool for this back here as well. So we will now put together like our little area. So like we did in our, um, Let's see, let's do something like this and this. So I don't know if y'all remember or if you've been following this series for since I've been starting it. Our first shop was a nice little cute bakery. Now with that bakery, we did make a few items in there with the, got some more sticks. And we got five on us. That should work for now. So we did, um, like, put stuff up for display. Now, to do that, we used the birch wood as with the item frames. And we placed pretty much what we killed in there. Not necessarily killed, but, like, there. Because, not killing cake. But we, like, put the pumpkin pie in. So, like, this, what we'll do is, like, put the, um beef there the steak uncooked steak my bad and then we'll do a cooked steak and here we might do let's skip one and we'll do uncooked pork chop and cooked pork chop and when we place it on we place to the side and then you have it up here for display it does have a little lighting glitch but that's not that bad and then back here what we'll do is we'll actually do something like this We'll get a cauldron here. We will take our stone cutter and place it up here. Like that's where we are cutting our, uh, our meat. So let me get the cauldron and change the floor and I'll be right back. All right, so I grabbed a few more items and I'm actually doing polished diorite for the floor just because it is pretty much that it looks just like quartz but it does have that old dirty look like it is been it is old and worn out and as you can see 
we built over a lot of stuff over here. Let's see. Fill it all in. Now for lighting, I am actually have not completely decided. As y'all probably noticed, like I have chains have entered. We've been wanting those chains so bad. And they are finally here for our use. But we're not that pretty much able to use chains right now. So how are we doing lighting? Are we gonna do like hang lighting in here? Like, you know, pretty much a business where you got those running lights going across. Are we gonna do lighting like there where they're hanging from the ceiling? We're gonna do hanging tor torches, hanging lanterns. What are we going to do? Now that is a question that I can't decide on right now. Look at that. Would be cool if I could push a glass block on top of it because that's why I was like grabbing the glass block. I know you used to. I just not that positive that you still are able to do that. Now we do need a cash register. We are going to use the polish and the sight as the cash register. We'll put it right here. We are now going to put on the ceiling. Not the ceiling, the wall on this back wall. Uh, let's put it right. Let's do like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do it see, six. So if we do the middle, that is these two. Let's put that there. Put a chicken in it. Cook chicken. Then let's grab our sign and then let's do plus signs all the way across and do sal's wrong there we go sal's butcher and then we'll do the plus signs going all the way across there and that kind of i don't like it that much <laughs> so we'll definitely we'll put the sign out here as well but we'll do it a little different. We'll do like Sal's and then I'm going to get another sign and put Butcher there. So we need to do a little bit of decorating in here. So let me grab a few more items and what we're going to be using for lighting and be right back. Okay, so what? Oh, getting attacked. Let's just shut the door. All right. So what I've decided to do for the lighting and you can tell I jumped across these walking. But what I have decided to do is pretty much grab this bell. We're going to, I don't know, should we do a bell there, call for service? I like that. All right, even though it's like ding ding, I like it. But let's see, so I have spruce slabs so I was thinking of doing something like that then jump up and do shelving going across like that not really to put anything up when but it does give a good look let's see I just and I just said not to put anything on but I just took it off because let's, oop, let's take this down Let's make it so we can add some stuff up there. All right, so let's grab our, oh, I forgot one thing, be right back. Okay, I am back. So what we're gonna do is, oops, let's see, grab that and jump. There we go. We're gonna do the same style as we did Jump up, jump up, can't do it while talking. And let's come over here. Same pretty much style we did. Did we do it against the wall? We did not, okay. In the clothing store. Let's see, place. As it is a part of the same like, I guess you can say shopping mall area. 
wouldn't be be the same type of lighting? I would think so. <laughs> and then what we can do back here, since it's not going to link in, we still want to do some hang lighting. So let's see if we can figure out how to get this to look correct. And jump up and jump up. I don't know. Does it look okay without the. Because it's not hanging. Can we see that it's not. Somewhat, you can see. Let's actually. Nobody's gonna notice but us. But let's still jump on up. And just place that down right there. And that will give us that piece. And we took our decorating skills to the max. And now that actually looks like it's hanging. Alright, so what we need to do, we could possibly do something like this. We'll hang a lantern there, and that's just, you know, for our personal needs. And then in here, we will hang a lantern there and a lantern there. So we will still need to go grab those. Let's see, use up all the wheat that we can to circle. All right, everything's used there. And let's get all of our piggies fed too so we can get to the point where we are making some monies. All right, so we do need to add some water in here. And we did the main part of the decorating. So let's grab our sign. Because I did do that on camera, so Sal's Butcher. Alright, so we got it, the labeled sign. Ooh, we don't need that. And let's actually put it right here. Open. There we go. I like it. Come in, we have our main part, we have our bell, we have the foods we can choose from, our meats, or where we cut up everything. And of course, we need to fix on this here, and we have our food supply. I want to do a little bit of extra tidbit decorating, and then we'll come back and look. Okay, so I finished the minor little details to get this going for us. So as we walk into Sal's Butcher, we have some flowers, little lanterns, and the shelving. I did end up moving that back down, just because you couldn't see nothing on it, because it did link up with our hanging lights but it looks really nice like that fix all this where these are pushed down we have all these different types of meat we have this little trap door to walk behind some lanterns our little cutting station and you walk back here and we have the main reason we actually built the butcher shop now i feel that we have completed it. Oh, and I also moved this bell up. I didn't really like it that low. And it's not that bad being like there. You look, it looks like a butcher shop when you look through the window. I love it. So much. Now that we have finished, it is my time to say goodbye as the rains come. Hope you enjoyed as we made this little farm and decorated it up so we could have some unlimited steak and pork chops. Now, as always, stay crafty, y'all.